This was a, a, a project that was initiated by the environmental arts charity Common Ground and, and you know, with hindsight I think it was just the perfect marriage for, 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 for our work. Peter the sculptor and myself as the photographer and as a photographer I was, I've always been fascinated by culture and landscape and especially, although I'm not a landscape photographer, especially marks in the landscape, you know, whether it be medieval crosses on Dartmoor telling you of the power of the church in the medieval period or, you know, um, the wonderful legacy of uh, stone circles and stone rows telling you of, of prehistoric man. And so suddenly to be pulled in to um, document Peter, who was also making these, these, these marks in the landscape, for me it was just a, a continuation of my work, so it was, a, it was, it was hugely enjoyable. Mm. No, I mean it was hugely enjoyable for me too, and uh, actually the the whole experience of working with you was fantastic and I think you know it was so obvious that I mean, when Sue and Angela said to me we want a photographer to work on this project um, there just wasn't anybody else remotely qualified to do it because of that interest yeah. and because of that interest in the relationship between culture and nature mm -hmm. between the relationship of you know of things people have made in the landscape juxtaposed with natural naturally occurring phenomena in the landscape I mean the whole thing you know, was right at the beginning, you know, even before they talked about getting somebody to document it, was a strange um, combination of, on the one hand, being fantastically exciting, because they came along and said, well, you know, we think sculpture, art, should be part of everyday life. It should mm. be part of, mm. of people's everyday experience. It shouldn't be just something for the, you know, initiated for a small group of people who, who go to art galleries and that yeah. kind of thing. And that's what I'd been thinking about art ever since I can remember thinking about art. So in one way, it was the perfect challenge and project to, to really put that into, into reality, to make that dream a reality. On the other hand, you know, I'd only been in Devon for about five years. Uh, it's an extremely special and very beautiful landscape on the edge of a national mm -hmm. park. Um, people care passionately about that landscape. And so, I was on the one hand very excited and on the other hand nervous. extremely <laughs> ner nervous, it's a sort of understatement, I was very nervous and I thought well if it all went wrong you know I might have to move mm. you know to another part Well I don't think it was ever, ever going to go wrong and, I, and, and actually what, 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 what I found fascinating about the whole project is that actually it introduced me to sculpture, I have to actually put my hand mm. up and admit that you know that I'd, I mean I've been to art college and studied painting but sculpture for me had always been on the sort of um, Periphery, you know, I, I, I kind of equated it with, you know, the urban landscape, mm. you know, that somebody made a piece of sculpture and they mm. stuck it in the middle of the yeah. square. So suddenly to see these beautiful things, which were, which were about nature and about off place, you know, had this amazing resonance of, of where we both lived and actually see them not go to a, a square in the city, you know, mm. but actually go exactly where they where they'd almost been, yeah. you know, come from and actually placed in the landscape. And within within hours, if not seconds, they, they just blended in. You know, they were, they, were, they were part of the landscape. I mean, I think the thing is immediately you take a, a piece of sculpture outside the kind of neutral environment of a, of a gallery and you put it into landscape, whether it's urban or rural. Mm. It's not just the object, it's the relationship between the object and the place. Absolutely. And the resonance that's set up between the object and the place. And if you get that right, you can create something which is more than some of the parts, which is actually more than just the object in itself, more than just the place. The two can kind of have a conversation. And, you know, without having lots of labels and, and signage and explanation plaques, which thank God we don't yes. have, uh, it means that, you know, you can actually have quite an intimate experience with sculpture and hopefully go off on a train of thought mm. prompted by the place and the I'm so I'm so pleased that there isn't any signage, and that's one of the things that, that I, and I'm sure you do too, I hate seeing um, in the countryside. Yeah. You know, it's, al it's almost as if they're saying, saying you know, you, 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 you go out for a walk, you go out onto this fantastic landscape, mm. and, and, and you're denied a sense of discovery yes. when you find the plaque that tells you mm. the history you know, Tells the you bird life, think. all these things, you think, no, 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 I don't want to see that, you know, mm -hmm. because I, 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 I want to discover these things for myself, yeah. and if I'm genuinely interested, I will mm -hmm. find out about yeah. these no, things. I completely agree, completely agree.
What struck me with that is that, in a way, your role as documenting it is like the lack of um, signage. Mm. <laughs> You've got <laughs> to be well, there yeah. and, and interact and be part of it, but not be obvious. Yes, yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, I just, you know, the camera's a, a strange tool. You know, it's, um, it, it isn't like a, a, a painting. I, mean, I, 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 I went to art college, I couldn't draw, you know, so I found this wonderful machine camera you know, that, that could actually say everything I wanted to say. But it's still, it's still, you know, the camera is really just an extension of the brain. You're, you're, you're trying, you know, you're looking at something and saying, you know, that, that is a beautiful piece of work. Now I've got to try and put that onto, onto, onto a, a, you know, a, a two-dimensional surface and communicate to anybody who looks at it what I felt, mm. you know, what, what inspired me to actually take that yeah. blessed photograph. I the mean, the really place. unusual thing about that project, though, in terms of the collaboration between us, was that because it went on for such a long time, mm. because we became friends through it, and, you know, we spent a lot of time together, together. doing yeah. it, um, it, you know, you became invisible in a sense, you know, the nicest possible way. But you know, you were there, yeah. like the yeah. other guys helping, yeah. like the other people who were around helping me, you know, crane operators. And, you well, know, it, it was, you know, like coming back and visiting old friends But it was very, un but well it made it very unselfconscious. You yeah. Know, it, it, yeah. We became unselfconscious myself, and my mm. team became unselfconscious. Well, I still go yeah. and I still go and look at them. You yeah. Know, my my yeah. young son, well, he's not he's not young anymore, twelve years old, mm. but. You know, one of one of the favourite walks was to go up to uh, Wooden Park mm. and, and and go. You know, those days when he was very tiny, he used to say, "I want to go and see the magic stones mm. you know, mm. in Wooden mm. Passage." And, mm. to see it. Yeah. and it was just always a great joy. You know, and in fact, you've never seen it, but I have a photograph in my living room mm. of me holding his hand and he's kicking the leaves between the stones really coming between them. Yeah. You know, and it's, yeah. for me, it's a, it's just a, mm. you know a lovely moment in, mm. in time. Mm. You know, which is all part of that um, yeah. documenting process. Mm.